A hate crime bill is one step closer to becoming a reality for Hoosiers. Yesterday, the bill passed committee 9-1 to one in favor. Both sides are still passionate. Wayne 15's Rachel Russell joins us now live in the newsroom. Right now, Rachel, what's going on? Dirk and Tara, Indiana is one of only five states that does not have a bill like this in place already. And although last year the bill did fail, this year is looking more promising. There's a variety of folks that receive uh, certain protections under the law. This, I think, just broadens it to a wider um, social net. This hate crime bill would allow a judge to add extra penalties on a person who commits a crime against someone based on a trait like sexual orientation, race, religion, or gender identity. I think it also provides much more protection to a victim uh, who can present to the court and allows the state to present to the court kind of the, the motivation or the motive behind a crime. Generally in Indiana, we don't have to prove motive uh, in the basic elements of the criminal offense. After last year's Senate hate crime bill fell apart because lawmakers couldn't agree on language, that might be different this year. I think there's a lot of uh, momentum behind it this year. Uh, even the, the person who voted against it yesterday in committee, his explanation was that he wasn't against the concept, he just didn't like the idea of a list of different features. People testifying against it include Dr. Peter Scare, a professor from Concordia Seminary School who made the trip to the State House yesterday. I'm against hate crime legislation because I believe in equal protection under the law. I don't believe we should go into protected classes. He's speaking up for people who he says are hurting. People like John Klug, a Brownsburg teacher who was fired for not using certain pronouns. Or Jack Phillips, the baker who refused to bake a cake for a gay couple. People who could lose their businesses and are being harassed. He's even created a petition addressed directly to the governor. What it asks simply is for Governor Holcomb to put an end to this and to declare equality for all Hoosiers. We can, we can live with disagreements. That's what American culture has always been about. First Amendment rights of free speech, First Amendment rights of um, freedom of conscience, and also equal protection under the law, the 14th Amendment. Since the bill passed committee yesterday, it then heads to the Senate floor where it is being debated right now as we speak. For now, live in the newsroom, Rachel Russell, Wayne 15 News. Rachel, thank